Hello everyone, I'm going to start a new series on SAP integration suite. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, exercise from the free learning journey. Uh, this is the free learning journey that counts towards your certification if you want to take the SAP integration suite certification. Uh, so the uh, sample exercise in the certification goes like this, a very simple exercise. Uh, company A is selling some goods to customers and uh, because of some uh, supply chain issues, uh, some of the products cannot be delivered on time to the customers and therefore co company A wants to inform customers about uh, the delay uh, in the shipping process. Uh, so very simple uh, process, uh, ex example and this is what we are going to be looking at uh, in this SAP integration suite uh, series. Uh, so the task flow is something like this. Uh, so there is a SOAP call uh, that sends a list of product IDs uh, into the workflow and then we check and then we take each product and we check if that product ID is in our database. And if it is in our database, then it is a valid product. Uh, and if it is not in our, our database, uh, then it's an invalid product and therefore we ignore it. Uh, then for each of the product, the valid product, uh, we get all the sales orders for that product ID. And then uh, we also get the sales header because this is where the customer information is. And then from the sales header, we get the customer ID and write it to the data store. Uh, so fairly straightforward task flow. Uh, so putting some concrete values in here. Uh, so we get like uh, three products, laptop, iPhone, and TV. Uh, then we go through each of the product and see if this product is in our database. Uh, let's say the laptop and TV is in our database, but the iPhone is not. Uh, so because the iPhone is not in our database, we ignore the iPhone. And then for the laptop, uh, we go and check all the sales orders for the laptop. Uh, let's say there are two sales orders we pick those two sales orders and then for TV we do the same thing we get the sales orders uh, let's say there are three sales orders uh, now from the sales orders we get the sales order header um, and this is where the uh, customer information is so there's a one-to-one -one mapping between the sales order and the sales order header uh, and then from the header we get the customer information and write it to the data store uh, so fairly straightforward uh, and uh, this is where our exercise ends you can take it uh, a little bit further and you can also send an email to the customer if you so desire uh, so let me give you a quick uh, demo of what we're going to build. Uh, so uh, if I go to my uh, uh, integration suite, uh, so the uh, iFlow, I've already built the iFlow. So if I go into the iFlow right here, uh, it looks something like this. Uh, so the iFlow has uh, quite a number of uh, steps. And uh, this one, as you can see, it starts with the SOAP adapter and then it has quite a few steps and then at the end we write it to the data store. Uh, so from my uh, post, uh, Postman client, uh, so I'm going to send a, uh, send a SOAP inbound request. Uh, so I have uh, three products, uh, so I can have any number of products here, but I have three products right here and I'm going to send the request and as soon as I send the request, uh, the response comes back with a 202 accepted. Uh, so this is uh, asynchronous in nature, uh, so we send the request and then the response comes back right away and then the processing happens and then the uh, uh, customer IDs are written to the data store. Uh, so if I go to the um, if I go to the monitor and if I go into the integrations right here and if I look at the um, uh, history the trace log um, uh, actually, let me look at the uh, the data store. Uh, if I look at the data store, uh, you will see that uh, we just ran this and then we have uh, uh, around this time, so we have all the customer IDs uh, written to the data store. Uh, so this is the uh, sample, the, uh, the demo of the exercise. And what I've also done is um, uh, there are quite a number of uh, sales orders. Uh, so uh, in the uh, exercise that I ran, uh, so I had a, a filter to only get the top two sales orders. Uh, so if I look at the HTTP adapter, I only have uh, the top two, uh, but I also have another one. Uh, so there is another uh, uh, integration flow uh, where I have uh, all of the sales orders. So there are about 1400 sales orders in this. Uh, so this is going to take a while to process. It's going to take about 10 minutes to process. So I remove the top two. Uh, so it's going to take about 10, 15 minutes to process, uh, but let me go ahead and start this also. Uh, so it's kind of the same request.
request a different endpoint though, um, uh, but you can see in the body, we are sending the same uh, data. Uh, and once I send it, uh, it's going to process it. It's going to take about 10 minutes to process, uh, but once it processes it, uh, you will see all the customer IDs are written to the data store. Uh, so that's what we are going to be looking at uh, in the following videos. Uh, hopefully you can join me in the, uh, in the series. Thank you.